Hello, welcome back to my channel guys and in this video I'm gonna show you how I got a free iPad in Canada for opening a bank So guys as you can see it's a brand new iPad 10th generation I guess yes the one so I'm gonna give you more details about it. So let's open it before that. Ta-da! Hope I don't make it fall. I've already opened it, guys. I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> Ooh! As you can see, it's a brand new 10th generation iPad. So Let's keep it here. So this is good, yeah. After so so much of time, I Apple is giving the tables back. Good. So this is it. This is my new iPad 10th generation, the latest one, I guess. The new iPad which has come last year. I got it for free, ladies and gentlemen, for free. And I'm not an unboxing or tech person. So if you want to see a video about this, you can go and see on all the other channels. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sh like in this channel, I'm, in this video, I'm gonna show you how did I get it for free. So guys, this is an iPad, 10th generation Wi-Fi, 64 GB, and the price in Canada for this one is 599 Canadian dollars plus taxes. So in BC, it's 12% taxes. So it's $670 after taxes, which I got for free. Okay. So how did I get it? So here's the catch. So I just got this iPad for free by just opening a bank account in Canada. You know, there is a saying in Canada, uh, in North America, I guess. So they say, um, start taking advantage of the banking system in North America, or it will take, it will start taking advantage of you. So here am I. So I'm going to show you how I am got, got an iPad for free. So to get an iPad, I just opened a bank account with RBC. So RBC is the Royal Bank of Canada, which just got merged with um, HSBC Bank. So now it's the number one bank in Canada at the moment. So I, I RBC has this offer till 31st July. And this is every year, I guess, because when I came to Canada in 2021, that time also they had this offer. And usually they have this offer or sometimes there are free airpods. So I never opened an uh, account for airpods because I already had airpods when I took my laptop. So for again, you know, everything has a catch. So here's a catch for this. So it's they, there is a monthly fee for this and the monthly fee is around $695. So even if you go to calculate $695 and you have to keep your account open for one year. So even after one year, it's like $200, $203.40 to be precise. But still, I'm a win, win situation because I'm already $400 in profit. So I opened it up account because I was using the CIBC student offer. Because I, after when you're a student, you get free banking, right? So I did not have to pay my fees, bank fees. So now I had to. So it's better I opened a new account and get my benefits and get a free iPad. So that's why I opened it in RBC. So how to get an iPad for free? If you are a newcomer into Canada or if you are already in Canada, you can get this offer. So all you have to do is just open a bank account with RBC. And this is offer is valid till July 31 only and you have to complete these two things before jan 9 2024 to get this ipad so one is your payroll so in canada of course in canada to survive you need to earn money so your payroll money should come there payroll should be deposited into to that account and you have to set up either one of these two things which i'm gonna say is two pre-authorized monthly payments or two bill payments to a service provider. So pre-authorized payments can be your compass card payment, which you can pre-authorize it and it gets deducted or your credit card payments or your or 
you can do these two things like bill payments to service provider like mm, paying your telis bill or your fido or your rogers your phone bill or that is one thing you can do like either of the two so i did is like i gave my office my new bank account so my payroll got deposited in that that account and also pre authorized payments i no no i did two bill payments so i did my credit card payment and i did my uh what did i do uh, i did my fido my phone bill payments so that is how i got it and after i had registered it uh, for uh, june in june sorry in may may 24th i opened my account and b- before may 15 i got it delivered so in no time it got delivered guys i just completed the things and i have to keep it on and do those things for one year but it doesn't cost me anything so that is why i did it and i think you guys can also do it if you want to i am not saying it's just a good benefit so that's how i got a free ipad guys so i'm going to enjoy and make notes and do a lot of note taking on that so yes so there are a lot of bank accounts you can choose from there are always you you should look out for such advantages from the banks so sometimes like for example let me give you an example so i rbc for example had this offer right open an account you get an ipad for free or sometimes they have open an account and get your airpods for free or some uh, bank accounts um, even even if you are a student right you can open your account and you can get 100 dollars you don't have to do anything and you don't have to pay fees also then again guys this free 100 dollars for you guys or you can open an account in scotia bank so they also have some offers but i don't think so they have an ipad for free or else i would have already opened so there are different banks in canada with different advantages you should always look out for all those things where you can take advantages of the banking system and be on the higher side so people who must be thinking that why is rbc giving out so there is a profit for that bank also because i had researched before taking this so according to one of the employee it seems apple is one of their biggest client apple canada is their client uh, of rbc so this one got delivered to me directly from us so the charges which they take like the monthly charges so that is the cost of their ipad manufacturing so here they are not in loss not even apple not even rbc so everyone is in a win win situation and even you get an ipad even you are in a win win situation because if you go out to get this it's going to cost you like 670 dollars so it's better right so if you like this video you can hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can also subscribe to my channel and if you want me to make videos or any other videos on the banking system or which account is good or any other bank accounts so you can comment down below so i can make a video for you guys so thank you f- for watching guys and please do subscribe to my channel thank you